<laughs> um, hey, it's, it's, uh, I'm so glad that Lisa let me in. <laughs> um, and that I get to join you guys on this last morning. Um, can you also say thank you again? I know you already have, but to this incredible team. You've been here for bookshelf and I took it into my room and it was a life application Bible and I just began reading the New Testament, reading the book of Matthew uh, and uh, there I was, this 15 year old, no, no real concept of what uh, I was reading and what this was and I got to uh, verse 21 in Matthew chapter 1 where the angel is speaking to Joseph and he says, uh, uh, she, Mary, will give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus because he has come to save people from their sins. And uh, I, I read the commentary at the bottom uh, of this life application Bible and it said Jesus didn't come to help save people. He came to save them. Uh, um, it said there's not enough uh, good things that you can do to earn your way to peace with God. And it just said these words, thank Christ for his death on the cross for your sin. Ask him to be the Lord of your life and your new life begins at that moment. I had no uh, understanding that what I was uh, reading was the gospel. Um, but at that moment, I, I did what that commentary led me to do. Alone in my bedroom with this open Bible and I gave my life to Jesus. I said, I don't quite know what you could do with a mess like me, but if you want me, I would like to give myself to you. And I believe what I have read about what this says, about who this says you are. And uh, I didn't know that this was a salvation prayer. I just, I, pray, I read this scripture and I prayed this prayer. And I began uh, to have this insatiable hunger for this book and for um, and for prayer, for talking to this Jesus I was reading about and learning about and whose spirit was filling me and after a few months to my great shock and slight disgust realised I think I'm a Christian <laughs> this is really unexpected and, um, and I was like I better start going to church and so um, I asked my mum, I couldn't drive, I was too young to drive, I asked her if she would take me to church and 
uh, she had been raised but left m many decades before the Salvation Army and so that was all she knew. So she found a little Salvation Army in Lower Hut, New Zealand, which is as glamorous as it sounds, Lower Hut. It's not the Upper Hut, it was the Lower Hut. Um, and she would drive me and drop me off every Sunday at this little Salvation Army in Lower Hut, New Zealand and I would toddle in. I uh, was the youngest person there by a, a, a while, but I would sit by myself and, and then mum would pick me up at the end of the service and drive me home and, um, and I began to hear the voice of the Lord and uh, I remember uh, one time I felt like the Lord said there was a, a lady, an elder in the church called Raywin, could be Thecla, you know, <laughs> Raywins and Theclas and Brendas and um, Janices. Um, and I felt like the Lord said, go and ask Raymond to go over to her house for a cup of tea every week. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So I, he would wake me up in the night with, um, with, with scripture references. I had never heard of these books. I hadn't even read through the Bible. And I would hear these scripture references and I would wake up in the middle of the night and go get the same life application Bible and, and, and find, is there a book called that? And there was, and I would find the chapter and find the verse and the Lord began to teach me himself from his word but he said go and talk to Raymond so I went over and I said hi Raylan I'm Brooke can I come over to your house for a cup of tea every week <laughs> like God bless Raylan and she was like of course and so um, every Friday I would uh, catch the bus to Raylan's house in my little school uniform and we would sit in her den and she would teach me about the Lord and teach me about the Bible and pray with me. She also happened to be a trained counsellor, super helpful. Um, and, uh, and so began my experience of, um, of women, discipling women. Um, and uh, being a student and a lover of the Word. And I'm super amateur. But I, I love it and I adore it and I endeavour with all my heart to make sure that um, the songs that I write are pregnant um, with this living word. Um, and I, um, it's my honour to uh, worship uh, with you this morning with some of those songs. Um, I'm not a singer. I will say that because all I did was I just started singing my songs because there was no one else to sing them and then no, no one ever told me to shut up and now it's 25 years later. But um, first of all, I also want to say it's very unfair that I have to sing after Janice Gaines because that was disgusting. <laughs> From Thank Janice. Wild. Wild. <laughs> um, but uh, before we um, begin to lift up a song again, and I, I pray that you do that, um, there is only so much blessing you can get by listening. <laughs> I cannot bring your sacrifice for you. Uh, right? You know what that means, yeah. So we, we are going to sing and make music unto the Lord. We're going to uh, lift songs and truth that declares who he is. Um, but why don't we each decide right now, we're not going to be listeners and participants, but um, to step in and give the Lord the glory he deserves. If you don't know the song, just sing anything you want. <laughs> sing like chariots of fire. <laughs> no, whatever, you, whatever you want to do, but bring the Lord an offering. Okay. Brooke, so weird. Stop. Okay. That's great. Um... <laughs> Um, Heavenly Father, we, um, with gratitude, we honour you and we glorify you, Lord, for the powerful and profound and intentional and precise work of your Spirit in this gathering uh, since Thursday night. We thank you that you have awoken. We thank you that you have unshackled. We thank you that you have pivoted. We thank you that you have clarified. We thank you that you have cast down and that you have lifted up. Um, and we pray, Lord, in uh, these final moments we have today together as a gathering that you would accomplish fully by the power and the work of your Holy Spirit exactly what it is you have purposed to achieve in these final moments. We thank you that your word will not return 
to your void. And so with that confidence, with grateful hearts, and with an accurate humility, Lord, knowing that we have been saved and redeemed by no work of our own, or no cleverness or gift or amount of moral uh, box checking, but by the finished work of your son Jesus on the cross and by the sufficient and powerful blood shed for us. Thank you, Lord, that as we stand assuredly in the new covenant today, we can come to bring you an offering of praise, knowing that we have been forgiven much. So we dare not hold back from you the thanks and the glory you deserve. Have your way in us in these moments and in this moment. In Jesus' name we pray.